This video is about a step-by-step -step guide on how you can build a strong base for a water tank from the day you place your first brick to the day you finish up your wall till the day when you place your tank on the base and collect water from it. And if you're new here, kindly hit the subscribe button not to miss out on any update as we share a construction video each and every day. When installing the tanks, ensure that the ground is firm, stable and on level. Do not install the tank over buried pipes, cables or any other utility connections which may require servicing. You must place the tank on a fully supported flat base. The base must be bigger than the tank diameter. Drill inlet and outlet at only specified location. Use plastic fittings while interconnecting with the tank. Do not drill the tank with a hot metal rod or a knife. Don't leave stones or sharp objects at the base of the tank. Do not raise tanks with more than 10,000 liters to a height more than 20 feet or 6 meters. So, more than 20 feet or 6 meters. So in this video we will have to use a 250 liters tank as a demonstration. So a 250 liters tank that we are using in this video is diameter 760 millimeters so we will have to add in the allowance for 50 millimeters all around the tank which will sum up to 100 millimeters therefore the total is 860 millimeters the first thing we will do after excavating we will cast a concrete of grade 15 that is one part of cement, three parts of sand, six parts of aggregate depending on the quality and type of sand in your country, which will be of thickness 75 millimeters. That's where our bricks will sit. Our bricks will sit on top of the concrete we casted. We will use a header bond with a cross beam. Our wall will begin from a depth of around one foot or 300 millimeters below the ground and we will go 500 millimeters above the ground so our tank will be standing on an 800 millimeters wall we will have to do back filling with maram of around 500 millimeters then the next thing we will do will be adding hard core of 200 millimeters and casting concrete of, on top of the hard core of around 100 millimeters to come up with 800 millimeters. The next thing we will do rendering on our wall. After rendering, we will do rough casting to protect our wall. The rough cast mix that we shall use is one to three, one part of cement and three parts of sand. If the tank is big, you leave a bigger allowance. For example, a 10,000 liters tank will leave an allowance of 300 millimeters above its diameter. It's usually 2.4 meters diameter, so we make it 2.7 diameter wall. The last thing we will do is to fix the tap and the water inlets. If you're constructing a tank, a water tank in an open place that is prone to harsh environmental conditions, you install the tank and plaster it with the wall. Whatever we have discussed here also works on big tanks. I just used or oh, we just used this small tank as a demonstration. That's the end of our today's video. Our next video will be about constructing a metallic base for the tank. So please hit that subscribe button not to miss out on any update. And if you have subscribed, thank you so 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 much. You motivate me to continue posting, to continue looking watching.